Well, we always say in Europe that cooking is an art and the chef is an artist. And I think this is what we find also here in Vietnam. For us in Europe, it's very important. Eating is something that is really part of our culture. And this is what we found here in Vietnam. So cuisine and eating, staying together, I think is a very important part of our life and of our culture. And that's why actually we are here today to talk about these things. Hello, welcome, welcome yeah. to Hello, thank nice you. you. <laughs> nice to see you. Listen, we are here in a very cozy Nordic style uh, restaurant. You look like Northern Europe. Can you tell me more about this? How come that you had this idea? I mean, like, yes, of course, like during my time in Europe, of course, like uh, we have been learned a lot. Like, I sharpened my skill and learning my knowledge, like through the different kitchen. You went to the new kitchen, it means you learn in the inside of the what the chef thinking, how they operate the kitchen, and how the restaurant like running. So I mean, like to le learn a lot, and uh, Europe helped me a lot for that. Yeah, that's great. And I think it's great also that you managed to bring this culture here. In, in Vietnam, because also what we, we, we always say when uh, European, I mean, when you go to Europe, some Vietnamese students go to Europe, the important thing is you bring something back. Yeah, exactly. So, uh, we have a lot of the very big Asian uh, society in Europe. So like we, but like in, in another way, like we learn a lot. We bring a lot of good things from Europe and come back to here and can apply. So I think it's the best of two words. With the background you got in Europe, yeah. and you come back here, it's something new it opens up. I think there is a big market actually, it's a potential market you're starting only now, thanks to you. It's my pleasure, because like the fine dining in Vietnam, yeah, yeah it's still something we need to work on it and uh, we, need to, we need to have the generation to learn how to do that. Try to put a lot of the Vietnamese thing, uh, our Vietnamese culture, Vietnamese food, Vietnamese flavor, Vietnamese, um, I mean like ingredient in yeah. all the food. I hope that in our generation we can do it and, try, and people we know more about Vietnam is not only about street food, but it also like old cuisine. So let me give you a challenge. Sure. Like, I mean, we are talking about you and Vietnam, European Union. So why don't you do a, well, your traditional Vietnamese food, but in a different way with the European style that we can find some, some mixed general, some new flavors. I think like, I accept that challenge. Very good. <laughs> then let's go. Okay, let's go. Thank, Thank you. you. So I know the challenge, so like yeah. today, I will start off with one of our signature dish. Here is like the, the pho. So this sauce is like making from the um, very like, how to say like the traditional Vietnamese uh, green chili. I will do a bit of the touch because like, I, in the beginning I, I do the raw flavor, but then like you have the raw flavor, but at the same time you have also like the barbecue. So here we make the consomme. So we make the consomme from fur broth and then like I let it sit overnight and like to try to make the good consomme with the fur bone. So normally you can uh, boil the bone for a long time. I mean uh, the total process for this soup is something nearly like two days. And then they can do like the hot version and they can have the comparison. Wow, I mean it looks perfect. I yeah. mean it's really, as I said, I mean it's a precision job. I mean yeah. you could do a watch, you know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm trying. Well done. Thank you so much. Very good. <laughs> well, so congratulations. It was really fantastic. I really love that. I mean, so creative. And another thing I'm very curious about is this idea of testing menu, which is, uh, I mean, well known in Europe, but I think it was new here. Yo. So why did you do it and how, how you do it? I think the testing menu is like the travel. Uh, I mean, like, the, like you travel around the world to, to test everything. And I like your idea of uh, traveling the world. It's really a way of create, being creative and free your imagination. Yeah. So I really, it's very relevant for our, our talk today. The fine dining, the testing menu is not ab only about the chef. It's about the circle. The chef is just like the final person who touched the ingredient to make it nice. Yeah. And that's why it's make me a lot of headache in Vietnam to do the testing menu. Keep it consistency 
sustainable emphasis on the local ingredients. It is very relevant to us in Europe because, as I said, sustainability, good ingredients, it means about good farming, yeah. good produce, you know, how you do sustainable fishing. For us in Europe, the, the quality of ingredient is essential. And we know we have a policy called from farm to fork when we want to really show that the, the produce that you have is really natural. Yeah. So I'm sure that it's a matter of time also here in Vietnam. Thank you so much, Tung. I think you, you really you're bringing some cozy Nordic style, European style here in Vietnam. So thank you very much. This is the end of the topic for today. And I'm looking forward to see you for the next time. This is our story, which is FYI chat with the EU ambassador. Thank you so much. Thank you.